Hi, everyone. Everything okay? Can you hear me? Uh, because uh, this is in the hotel and then it's a little bit different uh, place. So that's why if it's working well, you can comment here. You can listen. You can see me clearly. Konbanwa. Yeah, Yasu, Terumi. Hello, neighbors. Hey. Uh, so you can comment here. Where are you listening from? And then, okay, so let's talk about today is five things what Japanese people think about you when they see you. So it's, this is really curious, I think. Um, when Japanese people see you, like maybe on the road or somewhere, what they think about you first, you know, first contact, what they think. So this is very curious. So that's why I, would, I wanted to share. So where are you listening from? So it's today is a live streaming. So I am um, see I'm I am checking this comment. So anytime anything you want, you can comment here. I can answer too. Tell me san konnichiwa. Please write down where are you listening from? And then you can maybe if you can write down in Japanese, you can write it down in Japanese, you can write down in English. Uh, in Greek, I can read, uh, yeah, maybe German, the easy one, I can understand, yeah. So, uh, Karispera, uh, Elada, okay, Han Hansi, Hansi, what is that? <laughs> okay, so, Northern Athens, great. So, it's uh, in Greece, is I think, uh, Easter, right? So, Kalo uh, Pascha. I think happy Easter, and then you can write down where are you listening from. I'm Japanese. I'm 35 years old. Uh, I was living in Tokyo for seven years. What I can say is Tokyo is one of the coolest city ever. I I went everywhere, like in the world, quite many places. But come back to Tokyo, oh, such an amazing city. Like you know. You can enjoy everything 24 hours and it's super safe, peaceful, safe, nice food, so many like type of community. I mean, you can find everything very peaceful, anime, entertainment, nightclub, music, um, bookstore in Tokyo is amazing. And then I living in Greece right now and because I wanted to improve myself. Because, you know, amazing city in Tokyo. But, it, you know, I was living in Tokyo for seven years. If I stay in Tokyo forever, maybe I can just enjoy. But it also, it's a little bit difficult to improve myself, like, more, more, like, worldwide. And then, okay, I love Tokyo, but let's leave Tokyo. And then, anytime I want, I can come back. Because that's my home. So, anytime. So, it's a life is quite long, you know. I'm 35, still 20, 30, 100 years. I can live everywhere and then anytime I can come back to Tokyo. So that's why uh, I am discovering the world and I like to communicate with you guys. And I really, really want to help you if you really want to live in Japan or if you want to have a Japanese girlfriend or maybe girl boyfriend or maybe if you want to enter the Japanese company, anything you want, I can really help. And then let's learn Japanese language. Let's have a Japanese speaking skill because you really want to communicate with Japanese. It's not about certificate. You just need to communicate. And then we need to learn quite many things. So today I wanted to share these things. And it's what Japanese people think about you when they see you for the first time. So, uh, thank you so much. A lot of comment. We, Vienna, I have been actually only the airport and then I have never been this uh, a city, Vienna. I really, really love to go, you know, the opera in Vienna. It's a, I love Mission Impossible and then like Tom Cruise went there and I really want to go, Vienna. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for finding me. Thank you so much. 
And then,、uh, Tokyo is a beautiful modern city, but it's expensive.、Uh, not so much. Not so much. Tokyo is definitely not an expensive city if you see the world. New York, $3,000 euro, $3,000、uh, for the rent, right? New York, but New York, nine million city. Tokyo, nine million city. Same worldwide, but it's you can rent a house $500 in Japan. It's very cheap, super, super cheap. $500. One of the biggest c i t i e s in the world. Tokyo is one of the biggest c i t i e s in the world, but you can rent a house $500. What? <laughs> Cheap, super cheap. So that's why Tokyo is not expensive. Compare, try to search New York, London, California, Tokyo. Tokyo is the cheapest. Yeah. But it's opportunity is a lot. One of the biggest c i t i e s Okay. So opportunity is anything. You want to be a anime, anime creator? Yes, you can. And like a designer, fashion designer? Yes, you can. Like,、uh, LGBTQ community, yes, you can find it so easily. And even the Greek language school, yes, you can find.、Uh, I mean, like anything you want, you can find it. 24 hours is open, like a bar open s i x o'clock in the morning and it closed s i x o'clock in the morning. And it's open again, different places, 24 hours. You can find everything. You can, if you want to work in the morning, yes, you can work. If you want to work in the, in the middle of night, three o'clock at night, yes, you can work. I mean, you can find a job anytime you want. You can find everything. Such a huge opportunity you can, you know, Tokyo gives you. And it's $500 you can find a rent. Super cheap. Amazing. So definitely not expensive. Search more, you know, Paris, London, New York. It's definitely Tokyo is one of the cheapest. Yeah. So,、uh, thank you so much. A lot of comments. And、um, so, Athens, Athens, Karopaska,、uh, uh, yes.、Uh, don't, please don't ever leave Greece. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, I really like Greece because, you know, Asian sea, beautiful sea, nice food, and a nice music. Party. Yay! So that's something that you cannot find in Japan so much, like a Asian sea, music party, like sunset. Yeah, you can find it in Okinawa, but it's something different. Yeah. So I was traveling a lot for now, USA and、uh, most expensive. Yeah, I have been to US. USA is one of the expensive for sure, but also, yeah, you know, Silicon Valley, you know,、uh, GAFA, Google. Facebook,、uh, Apple is something that it's,、uh, you know, we don't have it in Japan. So we are、uh, chasing USA. I mean, Sony, Toyota, all these things were,、uh, so, you know, chasing USA. So that's why、uh, I, I like USA too. But it's,、uh, Japan is a little bit more cheaper. Yeah.、Mm. So you are making me thinking of going. To live in Tokyo for some years. Sure, it's a one time life. It, you know, if you become like 50 years old or 60 years old, you know, it's, okay, you can live in Tokyo maybe, but it's better now. You are young, you can find a lot of things, you know, you can enjoy nightlife, but it's 60 years old. You know, several things you can enjoy, but not everything. You know, I was living in Tokyo for. Uh, seven years from 21 years old till 28 years old. You know, one of the most active a g e I was, now I'm 35.、Uh, still active, but it's not like that. You know, I was, working like, I was working like crazy because I wanted to save the money. You know, I was a countryside,、uh, you know, countryside of Japan I was living. It's called Niigata.、Uh, like 24 hours snow, dark.、Uh, it's okay. But it's a you know, one time life. I should, I should get out. I should you know, know a little bit more things than snow 24 hours. So that's why. <laughs> yeah, definitely it's better.、Uh, when you're young, better go to Tokyo. When you are old, maybe countryside is better. 
mm, maybe more quiet, uh, relax. But it's Tokyo is yes, yeah, like, ah, uh, crazy. It was so fun. It was so fun. It was really, really nice experience to live in Tokyo when I was 21 till 28. It was a amazing ex experience. That you know makes me right now to you know discover the world. You know that Tokyo gave me a lot of power. Mm. So uh, yeah, so let's start today's topic actually. Uh, actually, I asked several Japanese friends, you know, I asked uh, if you see, you know, I asked my Japanese friend, it, she's living in Niigata too, uh, countryside of Japanese people and the Tokyo people, I ask both, and uh, I ask the same question, if you see the foreigner, what do you think first? So this is uh, five things. So of course, you know, you cannot, you know, uh, say Japanese people is everybody the same. You know, so many people are different. Me, it's definitely not typical Japanese, you know, what I'm doing here. <laughs> you cannot find it so much like me. That's why, of course, you cannot say that's the Japanese people, everybody same. It's so many different type of people. Even Tokyo people, if you say Tokyo people, a very different type of people exist. Salary men, very, very common salary men, or like an entrepreneur, uh, like a businessman, or artist, musician, artistic type of Tokyo people, and programming, gamer, like computer people, uh, or nightclub, night worker. Yeah. Uh, so many different type of Tokyo people exist. So you can imagine if you go to Osaka, totally different people again. Tokyo, Osaka, totally different. And then Hokkaido, Hokkaido again, so different. Fukuoka, one of the biggest city in the South Japan, again, totally different. Like you can really see the people are different. Thinking way also it's different. So that's why you cannot say like, okay, that's the Japanese people, everybody's same. No, no. It's everybody different, but it's if I see Japanese people to, you know, here, Greek people, yes, they have a, some country face. How can I say, like a characteristic uh, of each country exists. Mm. So that's why that's the big worldwide. If you see the big, yes, it has this Japanese people, you know. Mm. So then this average, if you see everything, like average Japanese people, what they think about foreigner when they see you for the first time. Okay, so five things. So number one, number one, I actually, you know, make summary here, my mobile. So number one is quite maybe shocking, maybe, maybe shocking uh, information, but it's number one, when they see you is, are you dangerous person or not? <laughs> That's the first things. Uh, that was a very funny. It's a two friends I asked, both were the same. And also when I search on the internet, also the same. Usually they see you, then it's, are you dangerous or not? That's the first things they think about you. So that's why if I am foreigner, you know, if I'm if I am not Japanese and if I am foreigner, I should try to, you know, expose myself that it's hi, I'm safe, safe person. But it's how actually can tell them that it's you are not dangerous. Mm. So that's why we need a communication skill. Mm communication skill. And also maybe you can learn what looks is the best. Of course, you want to wear whatever you want, whatever you want, you know, you have a nice fashion. This is me, you don't, you don't want to change. But it's something, you know, maybe if it's too, how can I say different from average Japanese, when just see you, then it's suddenly very scared. They are very scared of from your looks. So, for example, the common thing is, you know, beard. 
a lot of beard is not common in Japan. You know, Japanese men, it's not many people have beard. So that's why if you have a lot of like a long beard or something, it's like it's absolutely scared. Like it's something like a, we, it's like you can imagine like alien. Alien you have seen in the movie, but it's a real alien came to you. Hi, I'm Arian. Oh my God, that's real alien. Spaceman, ah, uh, yeah, I know it's on the TV. Yes, I have seen you, but it's real. <laughs> real foreigner is here. Oh my God, it's a bit scared. So that's why we know that it's a lot of foreigners uh, has, you know, the beard, but it's a real beard when they see, when they see, and it's just, they scared. So that's why maybe fashion, tattoo, a lot of tattoo, no, it's okay, but maybe just they scared of you. So that's why it's just to keep in your mind. And then, of course, you don't need to change your fashion and everything. You have this real communication skill. So if, for example, a lot of tattoo, a lot of beard, and then, hey, what's up? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> so, ah, no more, Oh, it looks very like a movie style, but it's very polite. And he's very speaking Japanese nicely. Oh, it's a, like a feel more safe, friendly. あ、どうも、はじめまして。あの、タトゥーありますが、大丈夫ですよ。あの、これ私の趣味なんで。I have tattoo, but it's this is my hobby. Don't worry, I'm not a yakuza, you know? So, if you have this communication skill, oh, I feel safe. Ah, not alien. It's a real alien, but um, I feel like more friendly. Yes, he's a little bit friendly because you are communication skill. Mm. So that's why, yes, bit just to keep in your mind, but maybe Japanese people uh, sca are scared when they see you. So that's why keep in your mind. So this is number one. So uh, if I'm foreigner, yes, we need to care that it's, yes, I'm not a dangerous person. You know, uh, I can speak Japanese and don't be, don't, be, you know, don't scared. You know, that that's, you need this communication skill. So number two, number two is, uh, this is also interesting. Do you like Japan? <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm living abroad so many years, so that's why. Uh, this question is a bit funny, but it's uh, Japanese people doesn't believe that this foreigner likes Japan. Japanese people doesn't believe that you like Japan. Why you are here? Oh, why you are here? You like us? You like Japan? You don't like sushi? <laughs> How so cute it is, Japanese people. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why they don't believe that actually you like Japan. So that's why you have to tell, I'm here because I like Japan so much. This communication skill is maybe very important because they don't believe why you're here. Why? You know, that, that's like a naturally maybe question. They are curious mm, why you are here. So that's why number two. Do you know about Japan? Do you like Japan? Mm, why you are here? So that's the actual number two people think about you. Mm. So before we go into the number three, I can check this uh, comment. Thank you so much. You can write down where are you listening from. So, uh, ha ha ha, we like you anyway. The Greek are the same. They are good in depth. Depth. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I live in New York, Queen. Oh, cool. And uh, I agree with you about New York City is overpriced and compared to Tokyo. Yes, it is. But I have never been to New York, actually. I really want to go to New York when it's a countdown. Yeah, it's like always, actually, I like to watch the TV in New York when they count down. It's so cool. So that's why it's Toshiba, you know, that's um, Times Square, Toshiba. Oh, 
great Japan, Toshiba in New York. <laughs> uh, actually, I always think. Yeah, so that's why I really want to visit New York. So it's overpriced. Yes, that's true. So tell me, on the way to Singapore, I uh, lay over or in Tokyo airport for a few hours. Really? Cool. Ah, that's great. But you cannot get out from the air airport, maybe. But it's I uh, enjoy the airport restaurant. Great. Cool, cool. Uh, and then. Um, <laughs> what is hard here? Uh, Teremi san, you are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Kawaii, sumimasen. Teremi san, are you familiar with a channel abroad in Japan? Channel abroad, uh, in Japan. I a, I find it excellent when it comes to presenting the Japanese culture plus the few more of the charts. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, I actually watch Japanese YouTube channel so much because um, you know, now it's we don't need to we don't need actual TV, you know, when whatever you can learn from YouTube. So that's why I really, really like YouTube channel all the time. And then I always watch YouTube channel in Japan, YouTube channel everywhere in the world. And I, I like you, American YouTube channel a lot. And I, I, I actually learning English very much from YouTube also. And then my presenting Japanese culture, maybe NHK, maybe it's very, very common, but and, you know, NHK is like a BBC World News in Japan. It's like I'm on CNN uh, in USA, uh, NHK or government TV. Also, it's a bit interesting. It's a quite they have a nice introduction for the tourism or for the traveler, and sometimes like uh, they introduce what is Japanese company like situation, economy. So many type of channel. Uh, so that's why NHK. Uh, so many type of topics. Yes, NHK or uh, hmm, depends on what you want. But Japanese culture, hmm, I think NHK is very common. Hmm, Japanese people uh, presenting Japanese culture is NHK. Yeah. So you know, Japanese people doesn't speak English, so that's why it's quite difficult to find a. Even in YouTube, even on YouTube, to find a native Japanese people who are speaking English to presenting some something about Japanese culture is quite difficult. Yes, so that's why when I go back to Japan, I ho I'm hoping this year I really like to make a lot of video about Japan, something like native things. Yes, I actually want to make. So, uh, so the next things, France go, scosh deki mas ka? Oh. France go. Bonjour. We. <laughs> oui. I think I only know this one. But I, when I went to Switzerland, um, uh, Geneva, everybody speak French, and I really um, stuck because it didn't have any English. And then, oh my God, German or French or Italian? Mm -hmm. This time I haven't studied German too, so that's why. Yeah. Bonjour. We, oui. I would like to learn. You, maybe you can teach me more. <laughs> so, uh, you are an expert, tell me not a common thing for Japanese. Greeting from Thessaloniki. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, uh, I love uh, tell me love from Cyprus. Thank you so much. What do Japanese people think uh, of other Asian people? Oh, Asian people, that's really, really good question. Before we go into the third part asian people uh, actually i i made a summary uh actually each country but not everywhere in the world it's a 280 country exists but it's uh for example Filipi filipino uh they actually definitely people think about filipino is a very friendly people and especially filipino girl are very kind so that's the japanese people think and also indian people is uh japanese people think uh, Indian people are very good at IT and then curry. Yeah, of course, IT and the curry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So these things also, I actually, I made some summary, so I will share. 
And this is kind of because today is, uh, you know, coming out today. So that's why uh, I have to coming out also. Uh, so that's why some Japanese people doesn't like Chinese people and the Korean people. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's a, that's the actual history. So that's why if you if you are Korean or if you are Chinese, but you really like Japan and you want to live in Japan or you want to go to the job interview, it has some you know risk because you know from the history and then politics and then you know quite many. Uh, Japanese people doesn't like Chinese people and the Korean people, but don't worry. So many Chinese people are living in Japan. So many Korean people are living in Japan too. And so many girls love K-pop, of course. So that's why what you need to tell is, uh, this is for, for all foreigners, is what part do you like about Japan? These things are always you need to tell clearly why you are Japan, or why do you like Japan? Why are you learning Japan? For example, bad example I can give you. Oh, because Japan, a uh, good economy. I just want to get this nice salary, so that's why I'm coming to Japan. Tokyo, ah, oh, yeah, nice salary. Uh, you know, I just want to get uh, some money. Then, of course, it's not like a, something positive reason. So try to tell to Japanese people why you are learning Japan. Why do you like Japan? Something positive, clear things. Then people will trust you more with no reason because your reason is amazing. So Japanese people likes you more. So that's why it's going to be a good for the job interview or to make a new friends is tell them your love about Japan. Yeah. Okay. So, other things. Uh, uh, I've never been to France, actually. I, I, I want to be there as soon as possible. Or other things. Uh, we like the arts. Okay, Osaka. We know some Japanese YouTuber who speaks French. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, great. So, let's go. The third part. Do you remember? The first one is... Uh, when the Japanese people see you, maybe they think that it's ah, you're a bit dangerous. It's like alien. Oh, I'm scared. So that's why you have to tell nice communication. Yes, don't worry. So that's a number two is maybe you don't like about Japan. Do you know about Japan? Why you like about Japan? Why you're here? So that's why this something like curiosity that I always I say Japanese people are amazing, but the Japanese people are very high technological villager which is uh, people are not worldwide so much. For example, when I went to London, you know, so many foreigners is everywhere in, on the road. Wow, so international city. And, and I come back to Tokyo. Tokyo is amazing, but it's all Japanese. Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. All Japanese, same face, same hair. Oh, same, same, same. So that's like London or maybe New York, I've never been, but London, Tokyo is super different. What is the difference is not international city yet. Not yet. Maybe next 20 years, definitely it's changed. So many, you know, you and many foreigners will start living in Tokyo for sure. So that's why people are actually doesn't know, uh, don't know about actual world, what's going on in your culture. Uh, that's why they just feel kind of scared. So that's why you have to tell exactly where you're from, you're not dangerous person, you love Japan, about what, you know, exactly what, Japan, Japan, what, what do you like about art, art, but what kind of art, art is modern art, traditional art, or anime also art, and then it's so many arts, so that's a, exactly, as much as possible, if you can tell the detail, detail, for example, artist name, or a type of the art, if you can tell the detail, uh, automatically you are saying that you know about Japan very well. If you say, I like Japan, is I mean, everybody can say, right? But if I can tell you, so then who do you like? Can you tell me the name or what kind of art? Then actual knowledge, you know? So that's why it's better 
you know, you should tell the actual more detail about Japan. Not like I like Japanese culture, I like Japan, which is everybody can say. So that's why something more professional things. Then people will, oh, you know about detail about us. Thank you so much, you know. It's just a real knowledge. Mm. So, and so that's why number three, number three, when Japanese people see you, what they think. Number three is, okay, that's funny. Uh, have no idea. <laughs> uh, even they don't actually cannot think, you know, nationality, you know, maybe the gaijin, foreigner, but it's no more, how can I say, information, actually. Maybe not Tokyo. Tokyo, okay, maybe some people can, some people know uh, foreigner because it's a lot of foreign company, Google also, Apple company also exists, and uh, you know, a lot of uh, international company in Tokyo. And, but it's then if you go to countryside, countryside, maybe people have seen the foreigner is only once in their life, maybe, the real foreigner. Or maybe people never, ever talked to the foreigner. So that's why, you know, if you go to countryside, maybe people think like this, number three, no idea. So even if you, even if you tell that it's, ah, I'm from uh, Italy. Oh, Italy. Pasta? Spaghetti? Uh, I'm from the UK. Hmm. Maybe English tea? So it's a, something, it's a very few knowledge they have actually. Uh, it's a bit, it's, you know, it's a, it's a bit shame, it's a bit shame actually. It's a bit embarrassing, <laughs> but that's the actual truth that it's um, quite Japanese people doesn't know about, you know, your country detail, you know, as an education, we know, you know, the history, you know, the human, how it's born, and then what the was happened in the, you know, World War One or two or samurai period, like a Renaissance in the France, or uh, like a Rome, Greek, ancient Greek, you know, these things are everybody knows in Japan, because we learn the world history from junior high school to high school, we learn the history worldwide. But actual, you know, more than, you know, your country, you know, only maybe they, when they, you know, turn on the TV and then, you know, some documentary about somebody who live in the country, uh, in the somewhere else, somewhere in the world, maybe USA or maybe famous Japanese rock musician go to California and then, oh, that's the California, hmm, you know, but something like that. If the people are not really interested in the you know world, they don't even search. They don't even actually have no opportunity to actually discover the world. So that's why w when you say, ah, "Ah, hi, I'm from uh, the UK or Germany," hmm, Germany, hmm, sausage, you know, something like that. So that's why. Uh, the, the people are thinking, you know, a bit dangerous. It's a bit scared. I've never seen the foreigner. And, oh, why are you here? Mm, I don't know about your country so much. No idea, you know, no religion, no, no culture, no idea. So that's why if you really want to enter the company, if you really want to make a friend, is it's the best way to communicate is to share the actual the culture. Ah, this is a Germany. Actual Germany is this. Actual France is this. Not only, you know, um, Renaissance, more than France is this. We have a wine, we have uh, this food, we have, you know, landscape is like that. Uh, the people are like this lifestyle. Uh, I see. It's like learning is always nice. So that's why you can share your culture in Japanese, that's the point, in Japanese, because when you start speaking English, oh, I'm scared, already scared, and more scared. <laughs> so that's why 
uh, communication skill nicely and introduce your culture. Hmm. So number four, let's go. Number four. Number four is oh, that's also interesting. When the people see you, the four the four things is oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Is that my friend's husband is actually he's doctor in Japan, and then he said, "I want to know the hobby." <laughs> that was a very funny answer. So they want to know your activity. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing here? And what are you doing in your life? Job, hobby, activity. You know, general general curiosity about your personality. Mm. So that's why it's good to share. Ah, actually, my hobby is this. Uh, I I'm actually a musician. I like mu play music. Or uh, ah, day off, I'm spending time like this. A uh, weekday, I'm working online. Actually, I'm you know sometimes I go to the Singapore, and then uh, half life is uh, in the New York. Whatever. Whatever, something your activity, if you can share in Japanese, they will maybe be very happy. Oh, cool. It's very cool. That's like, that's a foreigner. Oh, it's very different from us. Ah. <laughs> so that's why share your activity. Hmm. That's interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So the last five, the fifth are kind of very, very Japanese people. Mm, very, very Japanese people that it may be some foreigner are maybe scared of that part that the Japanese people care. So the first thing is, do you know the Japanese manners or Japanese etiquette? Hmm. So that's why we have this culture, you know, politeness, you know, humbleness, and, and you know, like how to respect the people. Japanese style, you know, uh, Japanese hospitality is coming from this humbleness and then politeness. So actually, Japanese people people are care, especially if the Japanese people are living. I uh, know if the foreigner are living in Japan, maybe Japanese people are thinking, how much do you know about Japanese style? politeness and the humbleness, this etiquette and then the manners. So that's why uh, it's good to know the actual, what is a Japanese way of, you know, communicate with the people or, you know, how to even sit. Actually, I spoke about these things to the other uh, people. And like, if you sit like this, hey, what's up everyone? Then it's very, you know, it's not uh, Japanese style. So that's why it's just like, hmm, it's a different. <laughs> so that's why it's, ah, domo, hajimashite, kaito mo shimasu. Oh, very Japanese style. It's very like a natural Japanese style. Domo, ah, just nihon, ah, just nihon go a just heta nan desu ga, domo, yoroshiku onegai shimasu. My Japanese is a little bit uh, not good, but uh, thank you for uh, communicating with me. Thank you so much. Yoroshiku Hey! Hey, bro! Oh, very different. Oh, my God. So that's why, you know, I like American culture. That's why I really, really like to learn the English. And I really, really like European culture. That's why I really like to learn Greek language and German and more, more, more language in my life. I really, really want to learn. But it's not like, it's not like me, everyone. You know, some people, you know, really, really like Japan. They live in there forever. And they just, you know, feel uncomfortable if it's too different. You know, like, uh, for example, when I started living in Greece, I was so scared because people, everybody hugged me and, oh, <laughs> so close, ooh, <laughs> kiss, or kiss. You know, kiss is only love in Japan. You know, like a romantic love is, but it's not like, hey, oh, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Oh, so close, you know. Oh, 
So that's why the, that's the culture differences. So that's why it's uh, good to know what is the you know most comfortable way to communicate with Japanese people. Then you know just people feel like a uh, nice. Oh, you are like Japanese. I, I I feel like more natural, more friendly. I I'm not scared. You know, in the you know five things. Do you remember? Scared. Oh, do you like about Japan? What do you think about Japan? Third, um, what was it? I, I don't know about your con- country at all. And number four, um, what was it? Number four was um. And number four is ah, oh, what is your activity? What what are you doing? And then etiquette. So that's why kind of you know that's why I always say Japanese people are uh, um super high technological, very humble villager. <laughs> so that's why the as you as you like foreigner, it's better to actually give them you know like a kindness and relax relaxation. Don't worry. Hi. I'm very tall, you know, you're even very tall. Like if you see Japanese people like you, then then, oh, then you can maybe a little bit down. Hi, don't worry. You're not, you don't need to be so scared. I have a tattoo. Don't worry, this is my hobby. Mm. Look, this is cat, huh? Cute. <laughs> something like that. It's something not like, you know, kind. Don't worry. Don't be so scared. These things, if you can actually, um, you know, actually, if you can communicate in Japanese, it's gonna be, oh, such a nice foreigner, oh my God. So that's why, that's the, um, uh, I think maybe nice idea before you start communicating with Japanese people, yeah. So that's why always I say, don't translate your language to Japanese language because it's a culture differences. We don't have, you know, hey bro, or what's up, or uh, oh, yasu, like a Greek, you know, yasu, hey, hey, we don't have this one. No, ah, so that, that's a very natural Japanese way. So that's why if you translate, from your language to Japanese, it, it's gonna be just a, you know, French Japanese or Greek Japanese or English Japanese, which is not the Japanese Japanese. We need a Japanese Japanese, right? Because if you really want to join the Japanese community or Japanese company, like you really want to be a Japanese person. So that's why like you become like a real Japanese, right? Then we need a Japanese language, Japanese language, which is 100% Japanese, not half English Japanese or not half French Japanese or half German Japanese. Then, oh, that's, we have cultural differences. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, especially Japanese people are very shy. It's not like me, it's a very, very shy. So that's why if you change it, you know, the kiss. Ah, hi, nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Then, oh, so close. <laughs> that's why we need a Japanese language to Japanese language. So that's why be careful when you're learning the language. Oh, yes, I have a proficiency. Yes, I have. Yes, let's translate my language to Japanese. The unnatural Japanese you can learn. So that's why you need to learn native, real Japanese. And then behave like Japanese. So, thank you so much for coming today. You know, something like that. Then, wow, wow, you know, you are like Japanese. I really can trust you. I really can trust you. Please come to my company. I need somebody to speak English. Yes, anyway, you know, like, you know, you can really. Uh, be trusted by the people, by Japanese people. So that's why let's learn Japanese, Japanese. Yeah. So thank you for watching. And then let's check the comment. So let's see.
You are right. Most of most of people are stupid. Just watch a man uh, uh, manner. Uh, that's all the only reason. Stereotype. Yeah. Uh, ha, ha, ha. How many people? Oh, typical Japanese elementary school classroom. Ha ha. Nihon ni sumu tame ni jinzo oru. Ha. Love Japanese people. Thank you so much. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe it's Duolingo that uh, pissed me off. <laughs> Duolingo is not banned, but it's a, you know, we need to be sure what direction you are going. You really want to just have the certificate, you know, certificate, but it's uh, you're going to speak like unnatural Japanese and like, oh, you, you make them like this, or real Japanese, Japanese you learn, and uh, you know you can really communicate right now. You know I know what to communicate. Yes, I know what Japanese people don't like, and what is the Japanese way. Yes, I can, I can really communicate. I can, I can introduce myself nicely, and so don't worry, you can trust me. You know, that's the, I think we need. You know, I never care any certificate. You know. When I, you know, when I'm learning English here right now, I just really want to communicate in English from everywhere in the world. It's just only this. I just really, really communicate, and I just really want to have more opportunity from the world. So that's why, you know, it's not about certificate. I really don't care the certificate. I just really, really communicate uh, with the people. So. Why you are learning? What do you want? That's the most important. Then I think you'll be sure about what you need to do today, because you know Japanese language is not too difficult, but not too easy. So that's why if you don't focus what you're doing right now, what direction you are doing, you know, just you want to have the certificate, or you really want to communicate with Japanese people as soon as possible, then that's the thing so you need to do. You don't need. You cannot do everything, you know. Just like a tech, open a textbook, but I don't know what I'm doing. Then you cannot make the progress. So that's why let's be sure what direction you are going. <clears throat> so you must give Japanese culture lesson also. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, I can do. I can do. So my profession. Is to train your Japanese communication skills. So that's why you can really nicely communicate with Japanese people. You can go to Japanese company interview, and then I can tell you what the phrase is the best, what self introduction is the best for Japanese people. That's my profession. But of course, uh, I can do culture classes, and yeah, I like to share so many things. And I hope I can go to Japan. I can go back to Japan this year. But uh, you know, this if I go back now, uh, I have I will have a quarantine for two weeks. It's impossible to stay hotel two weeks, so that's why. Yeah, then I can show actual Japanese people uh, what it. I can you know ask many people what is the best for you. Yeah. So uh, actually, I have other uh, optional uh, summary for this topic that what. Japanese people think about you. So I actually pick up something a specific uh, country. For example, if I ask you, you know, if a foreigner ask to Japanese people, uh, what is it, what do you think about America, USA? Then uh, people answer. This is actually I search. I search on internet and you know in Japanese. What is the you know first topic in the on the Google? And then quite many Japanese people say American people are very confident. And then American people eat a lot of meat, <laughs> steak. So that's why uh, that's the image of American people. So then next is a British people. British people is um, about that's Britain. Uh, image is bad weather, bad weather. That's true. Uh, and then English tea. And Elizabeth, a royal family. So that's the image of Britain. Interesting. So that's why if you are from the USA or UK, the, you have to actually tell the actual your country because their image is this. Then 
you can actually break the actual, you know, stereo, how can it mind, you know, fix the mind. So that's why you can actually tell, yeah, that's the average or maybe your image, but I can show you actual my country. Yeah, that's actually, I, I do. I do it in, in everywhere also, you know, Japanese people, yes, samurai, geisha, Mount Fuji, and uh, ramen. <laughs> it's not simple, right? Not not such such simple. So that's why actually I actually tell the real Japan. Hmm. So that's what you have to do to Japanese people about your country too. So then Italian people. So what Japanese people think about Italian is fashionable person, fashionable people. That's true, maybe fashionable people and spaghetti. Hmm. So maybe. If you're Italian, you can tell, you know, we don't, we have spaghetti, yes, but we have more different type of pasta, different type of North Italy to Southern Italy is very different, actually. You can actually tell the real Italy too. Maybe not many people knows. And then about German, German people, what Japanese people think about German people is, uh, this is a, a little bit funny that it's uh, uh, similar to Japanese people. German people are similar to Japanese people and uh, lost the World War II and it has a technology. Hmm, that's interesting, interesting. So that's why maybe you can tell the real uh, Germany if you're German. So that's why that's an image, you know, most of people think I have this image. That's, you know, foreigner has that image of Japan also the same. So that's why you can actually tell the real uh, country about you, uh, about your country. So uh, French, French, it, it had a French here, right? So French people, uh, what Japanese people think about French people is eat bread, like a baguette, and eat cheese. That's it. And maybe Paris or something. But it's a uh, French food, Michelin star, you know? I mean, they didn't say like that. So that's why you can actually tell real, you know, French food. It's not like a baguette and cheese only. So that you can, you should tell real, uh, fr you know, France. Yeah, you sh you should tell. And then uh, Greek people. That's that's interesting. <laughs> what Japanese people think about Greeks? So of course, the first mind is Socrates, Plato. Hmm, that's we because world world history started from you know um, uh, Africa, the human born, and it's ancient Greek. So that's why they have Socrates, Platon, ancient Greek. And then also more than, it, this is really a bit funny that it's, I searched Greece in Japanese, Giri, Sha, Jin, Greek people. And then if I search it, the first topic is going to be Greek people likes sex. <laughs> so that's why that's in, in, that's, uh, in Japanese, Giri, Sha, Jin, wa, sexuzuki, te kai, uh, it's written. So that's why maybe when Greek people go to Japan, maybe you have to show, uh, not I'm not thinking about only sex all the time. So I'm I'm a more intelligent. Actually, I, I have more other things also. Maybe you have to tell the real uh, Greek people. But it's a, that's the funny things. Yeah, I, I wrote in, in Japanese. So Giri Shajin. Then it was, a, the, that was the first topic. So that's why, you know, they have, you know, each people, each country, they have, a, you know, the fixed mindset all the time. So that's why when you communicate with Japanese people, you have to tell real your country. That's because you are the representative of your country when actually meeting to Japanese people, which is very far away from your country. So you have to tell the real things. This is always important. So then, uh, actually, I shared these things in the beginning. The Filipino uh, image uh, from Japanese people is very friendly, especially Japanese uh, 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 Filipino girls are very kind. So that was the image. And Indians are very good at IT and curry. So if you have any requests, you can tell me. <laughs> so what? how was it today? Uh, almost, yeah, one, one hour, so I'm uh, finishing. So I hope you had a good time. And if you have any, any comments, 
Uh, any request for the next time, like a next topic, you can tell me. So I really, really like to share all this information and I really hope you will be more succeed uh, with Japanese people. Maybe you can join the Japanese community. Maybe you can live in Japan. You know, you know as I said, I really, really enjoy the life in Japan. And I lived in Japan for 28 years. So that's why I said goodbye. I want to discover the world because the world, the, the life is once only. So that's why, um, you know, I left. But I really, really personally, I love Japan. This is my country. And, but it's, um, life is only once. So for you too, if you like Japan, definitely you, you can be. A, a Japanese speaker like me, you know, I couldn't speak English at all. You know, just a few few years ago, I couldn't speak at all. Then now I can speak like three languages. It's a, that's amazing because you know this is dedication. I don't you know say the, any comp I don't complain like uh, I I am single mother or I'm busy or oh I have to do so many things oh I don't have money. No, it's just to focus on the dream because it's a life is only once. The money is money. If you work very hard, you can just earn the money. Delivery or maybe whatever job is, you can earn the money. But the time, time is that something that you cannot buy so much. I'm 34 years old. If I'm spending the time like garbage, then I will be like 50 years old. Then what I can do? You know, you should go to Japan or you should live in Japan right now if you really care the time. So... Uh, you can maybe find a Japanese girlfriend, Japanese boyfriend, or a company, or friends, any community. You can do anything you want, especially online, you know. You can do so many things, you know. So that's why I have the communication skill, and i really, really hoping that you really succeed with Japanese language skill. So I hope you had a good time. Uh, hello, greetings from Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands. I will be in Amsterdam in October. So, yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, great. I really, really like actually Dutch DJs. Mm. So, Netherlands, thank you so much. And then uh, we need to learn good Japanese because most of Japanese don't know English. Yes, that's as I said. Japanese people are super high technological villagers. <laughs> so that's why as i said they don't know about so much about worldwide things and they don't speak english so maybe 2050 maybe 2060 maybe japanese people becomes more international but right now maybe it takes time it takes time to be really international so that's why please learn japanese so that that's why you can really have the japanese friends or any any opportunity yeah so the other things yeah did you travel all over japan uh have have there been any place in japan that you have not been to oh yeah that's good good question actually i have been quite so many places in japan uh my childhood was very very unlucky <laughs> I didn't have a mother and uh, I didn't have a mother and a father, so that's why I was living in so many places. Um, you know, I changed the school for thirteen times, so that's why I think I have been so many places, so many, so many places. Uh, so I was born in Yamanashi, so it's um, uh, near Mount Fuji, and then after that I moved to Kanagawa, and after that I moved to uh, Kumamoto. Kumamoto is a South Japan, South of Japan, and it's a very active volca volcano, volcano uh, place I lived. And then after that, Niigata. Niigata was uh, super, super, super snow cold. Oh my God. Yeah. And then after that, I live in Tokyo. And Tokyo, I moved, I moved like a first place was um, Setagaya, Setagaya area. And after that, it's a Meguro area. And after that, Lopongi area. And after that, it's a Fukuoka, again, South Japan, uh, which is a super nice city. That was an amazing city. 
countryside, but it's very traditional and very active people, super positive people. That was a Fukuoka. I really, really strongly recommend it um, personally. And yeah, I have been to Hokkaido, Okinawa. That's an old trip, you know, traveling. Oh, uh, and Osaka, yes. Kyoto, yeah, Nara. Uh, so many places I've been. But I've never been Hiroshima. Hiroshima, I've never been. I've never been Kobe, which is Hyogo. I've never been Shikoku Island. Shikoku Island, it's a four prefecture there is. And then, yeah, se some really specific place I've never been. But most of the places I went, most of, 47 prefecture we have. 47 prefectures, all, almost like 40 prefectures I went, almost like everywhere. So that's why quite I can talk about all about Japan. There's quite so many places, different people, different mindset. Countryside people, south people, northern people, middle part, Kansai area, all different people. So that's why you can't say actually Japanese people, yeah. So uh, I would love to hear a little bit about uh, geishas in Japan on my JAL 15 years flight from New York to Tokyo. Oh, great. I had the pleasure to sit next to a beautiful geisha around 30 years old from Kyoto. <laughs> geisha is something that... Um, I cannot actually tell the real experience because I've never become a geisha. You know, usually I don't have this fight fix mindset for everything. I only believe the things I have seen with the real eyes, you know? So that's why geisha, I never have the, I've never become geisha. So that's why I cannot tell the real geisha life. But actually when I didn't have money, I have worked in the nightlife, nightlife, which is like you just serve the alcohol, which is like a kind of hostess. I've been, I, I have done like one year. And this time I had a one friend, she was geisha. And always she was telling me the story about, you know, the life, real life in the geisha. So the geisha is in the back, you know, it's a really strong Japanese culture. Uh, that is something, how can I say, the special hospitality. That's what I think we can say. Geisha is a specialist of Japanese way of hospitality. So it's not like a, you, like it's like a, the prostitute or something. Uh, maybe some people does, maybe, uh, because if maybe it's really these people maybe need the money for some reason. And, you know, the back then, like 400 years ago, was that the parents didn't have money. So that's why, you know, when they made a child, uh, they bring to this geisha place to, you know, get the money for, to, to survive. So that's why kind of, yeah, uh, the children was sold by the parents. And then, you know, they actually live there. And they usually cannot change the job. They cannot even quit the job. But right now, it's not like that. Right now it exists, but it's if they want to be a geisha, they become. Because maybe they like, they like, or maybe some, you know, influence by the people, or maybe it's good, good to be, or maybe, um, the, this is the most common. Maybe she failed in the life. Maybe, for example, uh, the parents died and then the parents had that debt and she actually, you know, received this debt from the parents and then that's the amount is huge and she can't really pay with the normal life. So that's why she become geisha, which is the, going to the nightlife. And, but it's, uh, you know, uh so that's why it's not like a prostitute or something they have a very specific way to serve uh, the customer and uh, politician uh doctors um like very specific more like um very rich people very japanese rich people like real like japanese style yeah 
Uh, it's not like a computer programmer. Yeah, I, I'm very successful computer programmer. Go to Geisha, not common. It's like a more like a right side, maybe people, politician or like doctor, lawyer, um, something like kind of Yakuza also because very right side people. So that's why uh, these people go there, for example. Or maybe you can go actually, you can go. Maybe it's a little bit expensive. That's also, I don't know the actual amount, but I have heard it's um, some, pe some people pay 1,000 euro for, uh, one thousand dollars, one thousand euro, uh, hundred thousand yen for, for example, one day. Yeah. Uh, and then what do they do? Is uh, I think it depends, depends. But it's uh, usually what is a geisha job is to dance. For example, the common things is like a very important meeting, like between the politician with maybe I don't know yakuza, maybe our normal meeting, and then. Geisha can dance in front of the you know meeting and just you know to see the dance and after that they actually serve you know maybe food or like just to sit down like uh, next to the somebody to just to talk or just just to see you know like this uh, kimono style which is like a really really Japanese style it's just to enjoy the this atmosphere mm, nothing else actually at uh, Geisha is right now. And I don't know the more depth part. Uh, you know, she, 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 she was a Geisha, but she quit it. So that's why she can quit. So that's why Geisha in the back then, like 400 years ago, she couldn't, they couldn't actually quit the job. It was a forever, she, they need to be the Geisha. But it's now, anytime they can, they can quit. So that's why that's their choice. So uh i think that's the things i i know mm. uh yeah so i think i have i hope you had a good time and then i will do again so if you have any requests for the next topic you can write down the comment not this live chat and the this page comment so then i can watch later also clearly so yeah so I hope you had a good time and today I had a holiday. So that's why I was this way here, hotel room. Yeah. And I will do it one more time. Maybe today is, uh, yeah, Thursday. So next week for sure. So see you soon and have a nice holiday or maybe have a nice weekend and, or maybe you will work weekend also. So that's why good luck. And me, job and hobby are same. So that's why I'm working always. So let's enjoy the life. Let's, you know, be a Japanese speaker. And then let's join the Japanese com community. And then let's, let's, let's learn more Japanese. And then see you soon. Yeah. Bye-bye. Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi nasai. Mata ne.